All right, so here I have melted two tablespoons of butter, and to it, I am adding two chopped garlic cloves, and half of an onion, diced, and half of a red bell pepper diced. Now this is going to make two to three servings, depending on your appetite, I guess. Find my right, stir that together. I washed. I didn't lose it. I just need to find it. I think I know where it's at. My little camera stand. So it's gonna be a little shaky today. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook for um, it's on medium low right now. Let it cook for about two, three minutes, and then I'll see you back, right, guys. It's been about two minutes. You want to keep an eye on that garlic because I don't want it to burn. I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. Or thereabouts. Again, I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand and stir with the other so my pan might fly off the burner. Right, we're just going to stir that in. Let the flour cook out a little bit. Last thing you want is raw flour taste in your pasta. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and do its thing. My veggies and garlic have been putting that raw flour cook out for a couple minutes. So I'm going to add some half and half. The flour acts as a thickening agent. Um, you could add heavy cream instead of half and half. It's up to you. <laughs> Rain's excited about it. Um, I just had half and half, so I used half and half. A little less calories, I guess. And you can see I'm starting to thicken up like right away. So just kind of eyeball it and add a little more. You can always add more. You don't want it too thick, you don't want it too runny. Right, I'm gonna do just another splash. In total, I've used uh, about half of this pint container so far. I'll probably end up adding more, but I'm gonna stop here, turn this to low. Add some pepper. I like pepper, can you tell? Alright, and then we're going to do a splash of our pepper flakes. Tuna. Break that up a little bit. I got the, the solid white albacore. Tuna. See how that got like pretty thick. So there's splash. 
And it will get thick as it sits too. All right, so I'll let that sit for just a minute and we'll be right back. All right guys, so this has been simmering for about three minutes. Once it gets to, you know, a little slight simmer like that, you just wanna kick back the heat to low again. I had it on like medium uh, low. And uh, what you can do to this to actually make it even better is before you add your half and half or your heavy cream, put a splash of white wine in it. Um, really amps up the flavor. I didn't do it uh, this time because uh, my kid's gonna be eating some of it, so I held off on it. But it's really good that way. Right now I'm just throwing in about four uh, diced up sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> forgot the word uh, and give that a stir uh, I buy the ones in the jar that have the oil in it um, I just like the taste of them better than uh, like the packaged ones in the dry uh, section kind of by salad stuff um, I like the ones with the oil um, better and then once it stopped uh, bubbling, add about half a cup of shredded, that you shredded yourself, um, Parmesan cheese. The reason you want to add it when it's not simmering is because it helps it not, uh, the sauce not get clumpy. And also, that's also the same reason why you want to shred it yourself. Uh, just buy a little wedge and shred it like that and uh, your sauce won't be clumpy. It took me years to figure out why my sauces were clumpy because I was using pre-shredded cheese because I thought I'd be smart and oh who wants to shred their own cheese I'll just be lazy and buy the pre-shredded. Well that's why my sauces looked like crap. All right, guys, this is pretty much it. Um, I put a little bit of salt in it and um, just taste and adjust for that. And I've got some um, noodles boiling over here. So I'm just going to add the noodles when they're done to the sauce, stir it up. And um, yeah. Oh, you know what I forgot? Take a journey with me. See what's in my freezer. Uh, ch -ch 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 peas. I forgot the peas. Can't forget the peas. All right. Gonna add about a quarter cup. No, come out at once. Watch. That's good. Okay, about a quarter cup peas. Cool. Now we're done. Now we're just waiting for our noodles. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, guys, my noodles were done, so I just dumped them into this sauce. And as you can see, there's plenty of sauce for the noodles. Last thing you want is a dry pasta sauce. All right, so I couldn't decide between basil and parsley, so I'm using both. And top it off with another like quarter cup of cheese. Because more cheese is never bad. Alright guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this whole thing with my shaky camera. And you haven't puked. Congratulations. <laughs> I promise next time I'll find my little stand. I just wanted to get something out there because I haven't done it for a long time and I do enjoy doing it, the videos. And uh, I've gotten some new subscribers lately, which amazes me that people actually watch my stuff, especially for how infrequent I post uh, nowadays. Uh, but I do appreciate 
anyone and everyone who watches. So thank you guys. Have a great day.